did you how did you pay Ed back? How did you re, how did you repay Ed? <laughs> what, I, listen, man. This man said the only person who ever shared my like that was Ed. Damn, Ed. And how did you how did you pay Ed back? How did you re, how did you repay Ed? <laughs> How did you how did you pay Ed back? How did you re, how did you repay Ed? <laughs> what, what, Ed, what did you get out of doing that, bro? <laughs> Room. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ed, man. Listen, shout out to Ed. That nigga didn't even get preferential treatment, man. Let that nigga in the back waiting, man. Let that nigga in the back waiting, man. Nigga did a whole lot of shit. We're not gonna sit on this who left me behind. And that stage was at me all. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> so. I think this was last night on Todd City Stream. Couldn't sleep. So, Jessica X pretty much admitted it that she used you fucking fools. And um, this is why I told you fucking fools back in 2018. Uh, I was right about old girl. Y'all sitting there acting like she was an advocate for men. And y'all was sitting there talking all this crap, you know. Bitch ass Jerome Whiteside, you know, decided he wanted to jump in the pool with uh, Jessica X. And when she treated him like garbage, he uh, got mad. Dumbass Ed Anderson, thinking that he knows about incels and dudes. I mean, incels and guys who can't get women and call people losers. He jumped in bed with Jessica X. Everybody who jumped in bed with Jessica X, she turned on. She turned on Game Changer. So it wasn't really a troll. It was her trying to, her, her speaking her honest point of saying she did it all by herself. She don't give a fuck about Kuda telling her to get a channel. She don't care about Aegon helping her put out her streams. She don't care about Mr. Fantastic being this, this, uh, this fucking tall ass, uh, tall ass, uh, gorilla simp as, uh, as, um, 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 what's his name? Rage the bad guys would say she didn't care about anything. See, that's the whole point about having a man's space when having a little bit of having no, next to no integrity at all. So she learned it from the people that came in the space and she took it from them. O'Shea Du Jackson and and Ramil Amir and all these other people. And she pretty much trolled you, so called trolled you. But she pretty much told you what it was. She used you for views. And then she, she, all she does is promote hot topics, but not nothing against men. There's many topics that's going on right now. There's a, there's a, a number of men getting set up on dates by women on social media. She didn't make one video about that, but she will make a video about Tommy and Fresh and Fit or Kevin, or Kevin Samuels or something that's popular that's coming happening. So... That's the funny. That's the funny part. Me? Uh, this is what happens when you you do you do videos outside. Hey, Amen. Uh, I could talk again. Sorry about that, man. You know when I'm outside.
That's why I don't do videos like that outside no more. Um, uh, yeah, um, she used you. Kind of like when Naima was in all in the chats. When she was all in the chats, talking about she support men and she like black men and all this other stuff. But then when you give her time to talk, and she got she got on her own. She you seen that she's a single mom with two kids, and she has a high ego, and she want to talk about traveling men and tra and talk about SYSBM, and talk about how Asian women are are this and this and that. And this is that this back in 2020 when the the, the, the uh, pandemic was at its height, and it was it's super sensitive to say this to Asian people, but she didn't care because if it, if 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 it don't apply to black people, it doesn't matter, right? So, pretty much, everybody exposed themselves, but I, I, I kind of I kinda laughed when everybody was on Kevin Samuel's uh, penis, hanging off his balls, saying that he's speaking up for men and all this other shit and doing all this, and as soon as he got close to real power like uh, Nicki Minaj, he didn't try that whole your dress style stuff, or this and this and that, and this and this and that. He ain't try any of that shit, and he got exposed as a little bitch he is. But, y'all out here acting like... Y'all out here acting like, acting like he was actually talking, talking to women. Nicki Minaj is probably one of the most, Nicki Minaj is one of the most ratchet celebrities that you could probably meet. And he had a chance to talk to her, talk to her face to face and, and and get and talk shit to her. He froze the fuck up to an actual superstar, a ratchet chick with superpowers, and he looked at dumb. And then everybody now looked looked at him and said, "Oh shit, he got exposed." No, he been exposed. We know who he was when he came into space and started using the talking points. See. I don't discriminate. Everybody knows that I talked about Super Sly. I talked about me. I talked about um, what's his name? Uh, Black male media first. Um, Xanadol's Clutch. Solo TV84. I talked about every single body I could. I even had a little scribe. I even talked about um, what's his name? What's his name? A part of the Brain Blush Brain Trust. And I said I I, I didn't like some of the stuff that he said. Um, dude that used to be co-host for uh, Obsidian. I talked about Obsidian. I talked about a lot of different people. Vermeil and Mir, Ty City, everybody I talked about. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a small time guy. And I'm doing that on purpose because I don't want the FBI bullshit to happen again. So, I just, I'm staying low. But I'm still going to make content. But, um... The fact is, man, she exposed herself on many different times on Aegon stream, and Aegon could have made a little couple of dollars off that just by selling them, just by selling that uh that, that footage, because Jessica X exposed herself on many different conversations when CSEC called her out a couple of times, and the whole whole thing with CSEC and Jessica X. And him exposing uh, Jessica X and all her stuff. He, he like, c -Sick was a a already, he already knew who she was. And he, that, that's something that Zero didn't. And Zero had uh, a long, drawn-out arguments with her that he was like, oh, I'm just bored and I'm just doing it. But he even knew it. That's why he left, too. That's, like, that's, that's the reason why Marco, Marco exposed that he didn't like Jessica X like that. And he, she knew, he knew what she really was. And when he had a fallen out with Aegon, he like, nah, I ain't fuck with none of y'all niggas no more. Cause y'all, y'all fakes. Y'all fakes, y'all fake getting women. I don't wanna hear this shit no more. And he left. One of the realest dudes in the space who all who can show you his women and not this little fake ass, oh yeah, man, uh, the game, this and all that, was 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 Marco. Him and Colombian showing you his all the Colombian chicks that he can get. But y'all chased him away. And y'all got mad because y'all was chasing old ass hoes and ugly ass women and thinking that everybody else want them joints. One thing I got a problem with with Ty City is the fact that this dude is bringing on Ramil and Super Sly. These two dudes alone 
started a whole debate on rather traveling men was going overseas for uh, the juniors, the junior division. So Super Sly made over probably more than 20 videos talking about traveling men and SYSVM. He shows up and tries to agree with Ramil Amir when O'Shea is slandering O'Shea is quote unquote quote unquote slandering Vermil. But didn't Vermil slander um Miko Worldwide when he made the video about Miko Worldwide? Because Miko Worldwide, I mean, if we go if we can go by so you was caught with a prostitute, you was caught with a 17-year-old in your car. They arrested you for prostitution. And then you say, oh, I didn't go to jail for it, so I'm acquitted and I didn't, I didn't, I'm not charged for it. Miko Worldwide was arrested for rumors and he wasn't acquitted for it. But you still didn't retract what you said about Miko Worldwide. Even though Miko Worldwide to this day right now is, is actually free. See, it's funny to me, this is why I don't fuck with guys like Vermil because he'll say some shit and then he'll leave. Dude, dude is always high. I mean, I'm looking at, I, I hear him and he always high. But he want to give out female advice and tell men to do this and do that. Um, like I said, man, I wanted to make this video say, man, I told y'all so, man. Everybody who, uh, everybody who sided with her, everybody, every single body who sided with her, y'all look fucking like, y'all look like fucking children. And y'all look like her children now. Because what she did was play the shit out, y'all. Oh, just uh, Sister George and, uh, and, 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 uh, what's his name? Sister George and, uh, and Jessica Axel speaking the truth on behalf. Y'all want, y'all want women so bad to be on your side. And y'all not seeing that they actually using you and acting like they're on your side. But, hey, keep, keep saying this, man. Keep saying this shit, man. Keep looking stupid. And it's black men who doing this shit, too. Like, it's, I, I don't see no Asian guys trying to have women speak for them. I don't see a lot of white guys trying to have white women speak for them. And that's a small percent. I don't see a lot of Latino guys trying to have females speak for them. Speak, the females speak for them on their own. They, they, they jump up on their own. And ha half of them, most of them, give their life for their men. Real rap and, and real shit, man. But, but for some reason, you, you think that this... This chick who said on live streams or Aegon streams that she wouldn't give up her rights for the, 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 the return everything. I bet you if you made a if you made a million woman march for them to change the laws for men, I bet you nobody show up. These same women wouldn't show up. Your, your girl Jessica X wouldn't be in that marching movement. So, I mean, she, she even said it to Zero that she wouldn't give up her rights or give up her, give up her, her legal protection and power for men. But you continue to keep pouting this shit and she how she's, oh, yeah, she's for, she advocating for women. I mean, she advocating for men. Just like the pink pill chick and Melanin and all them other people and Danica Marie. And Game Changer look even more stupider and stupider every year. He got in trouble with one girl. She tried to meet to him. Cocaine Kells left him and he was towing her up as this light skinned dip, light skinned dip, light skinned dip. And then Jessica X and him had a falling out. And she don't even come on a she don't even come on a uh his channel like that no more because she thinks she's too big. But hey, he gonna keep doing that until Melody throw him in the trash, and then it's gonna make him look stupider and stupider. Like I said, that's the reason why I never really, you know, hanged around him like that. Cause I'm I'm tired of being, and, and everybody's seen the game changer shit. That's why a lot of people don't don't rock in the channel like that. They don't rock on this channel like that anymore because they see that they won't want, they're gonna have to be defending him every time he 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 has to put a, a cold host or talk about women and all this other stuff. It's like, nah, man, I ain't doing this no more. He, he had the one good luck charm when everybody had his back. And some people will even write about not having females in the space, but then they have females in the space. So it's like, man, it's a lot of people that's hypocrites. A lot of people, the true people in this space that I think is, is probably man of tomorrow. Because he be saying some real stuff and he didn't care that he lost all these viewers because he stopped going after people and he started putting the mirror up to people. 
he lost a lot of viewers and a lot of support when he went after their favorite hip hop artists and and celebrities and and, and uh p -p political leaders and he started calling them out. That's why I, that's why I, he 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 deserves more respect because he's consistent. And your boy uh, O'Shea Dude Daxon, he exposed himself for who he really was too, a fake pro black who live in Africa but he don't live in America and trying to get us to date these women over here, but he's over there in another country, trying to tell us what to do here. While we trying to get into another country and he talking shit about us. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Like I said, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy right now. But I told y'all about Jessica X. I'm looking for more Brazilian funk music to listen to. I'm listening to some more Korean music, some more Indian music. I'm listening to all type of opera music. I am not, I, I really don't have time to search out what Jessica X is saying and Ty City is saying and all these other people are saying. And because it's good to just put it in a compilation. Wait three months, like I said before, I'm gonna wait three months. And then I'm going to look back and see what everybody's saying. And then I'm probably going to make a video about it. Other than that, I ain't going to do it all the time. So, man, as I said, it's crazy how everything turned out. I was right in 2020. I was right about everything in 2020. The pandemic sped up all these situations that would have happened in five years or six years. In one year, because everybody was sitting on their ass and everybody wanted to th throw everybody under the bus because they didn't have nothing else to do. But somehow, some way, uh, you wanted to, uh, y'all wanted to waste y'all, y'all bullets, y'all ammo on all these different things. So, 